Reaction we're pleased to have. Senator Lindsey Graham joining us from Washington. Thank you. Have you read those accusations? Did you have them before the story broke? Uh, Senator McCain was given a copy of this in December after the election. I looked at it. He decided to turn it over to the FBI. I said that's the right move. I would tell your audience that you should view this with skepticism, suspicion, and that I'm very disappointed that we go into a new year with this garbage before us. Okay. There's plenty of so things to disagree with Trump about, but this your is friend, not one of them. Your friend John McCain has showed it to you. Mm -hmm. And you then knew what this, I don't even know how to describe it, this operation to, to right. besmirch Trump was doing. Did you think it had any press worthiness? That it no. Should, none. Zero. No, well, one, one, I didn't know the background of who did it. Yeah, I no, learned it's something. Not in I learned months, something right. tonight. I certainly, you know, this is why I should watch your show more. I didn't know the connection of the British guy to the uh, attack. Well, campaign. I'm glad you learned that. Okay. But I did. But, but just and, you, as a sitting senator, you read it. You didn't think that the press should, should have access to it or put it out. Absolutely in any way, not. Shape, or form. Okay. No, so you then know, when you, you saw. Know, the first thing I thought of was. We should all be suspicious of this because I wouldn't put it past the Russians to plant this story. Of course they planted the story. Yeah. Of course they did. This guy was being paid, this British this intel agent. He's talking to, to these me. Russians could happen to anybody and they're else. trashing uh, Trump as much as they can. Okay. So now when you saw this week that this story gets out and um, CNN didn't put the story out but brought attention <clears throat> to the story. But I right. want to be very clear that CNN didn't put out the salacious details. That was BuzzFeed. But they brought attention to the story. Right. When you saw that, what went through your mind? Well, I didn't have any idea it was in the Intel report. And again, people in your business have got to decide, you know, what is in the best interest of our country and the public to indicate that a report has been briefed by the president, that there is no foundation, if it's true or not, to me seems to be a disservice to the country. If you were running a network, country. would you, since Fox no. News had this information, I talked to the reporter today right. who got it last summer, we right. did not put it out. That was a decision made by FNC. Right. And I think it was a right decision. Do you? Right. I'm not in your business, but I wouldn't put out anything that I Yeah, we didn't even mention prove. it or in any way, shape, or form. Okay. All right, yeah. let's get on to you and Donald Trump. You guys oh, aren't friends. Yeah, me and the Donald. You're Absolutely. not friends, and that's all right. You know, that's okay. <laughs> We're not enemies either. Oh. All right. So, Russia, you have a great interest in Russia. Mm -hmm. And you have been a little bit critical of Trump trying to foster a relationship with Putin. Trump says it's better for us to be friends with Putin, but <clears throat> right. if he doesn't play along, I'm going to be his worst enemy. Do right. you see anything specifically that Trump is doing wrong vis-a-vis -vis Vladimir Putin? Yeah, the first thing I would say is that it's been hard for him to come to the conclusion that the Russians hacked into the but DNC. But he has now. He, he has, has but he it, it's been a long journey that reinforces a narrative in the minds of the Russians uh, that this guy wants to play ball. Almost he wants the relationship too much. Here's what I prefer the president-elect do. I have been briefed. I believe the Russians did it. They're going to pay a heavy price. It was the Democrats today. It could be the Republicans tomorrow. I'm the defender of democracy, the protector of freedom, and no foreign entity is going to interfere in our elections without paying a price and declare Putin the man he really is. He's a disruptive force throughout okay, the world. But if he does that, Senator, then he alienates Putin from the jump. It looks like the Trump strategy, when Tillerson is the Secretary of State, is right. to go over and say, look, let's start afresh. Let's, let's knock this off and work together to defeat ISIS I, and not have tensions. Isn't, that, isn't yeah. that more worthy to try that than to threaten him right from the Trump? Not at all. I think what I would do is say that there's a new sheriff in town and uh, you're going to pay a price for what you did. Obama said, knock it off in October. The so first you thing would punish I would, Russia even further than what oh, President Obama absolu did? You would absolutely. I would, I, well, I've introduced sanctions that would hit their energy economy, the foundation of their economy, the okay. financial services sector. But you know if sector. you do that, then, then it's a cold war all over again. You know it's that. Already, it's already, it's a hot war. It's not a cold war. But if Trump if can bring if, if down the heat and form some kind of alliance. Now, look, I'm not saying he can. <laughs> 
I'm just saying you're you're shutting the avenue off altogether. You're you're saying we're going to hurt you, Putin, now. And then, you know, Putin, he's going to try to hurt us back. And we got we got a problem with Russia right from the beginning, rather than trying to de-intensify it, as Trump looks like he'll do. But you're Here's, still the, the, the hawkish guy as far as Russia is concerned. I don't know if it's hawkish for the president of the United States to punish a foreign power for trying to interfere in our democracy. Here's what I believe. Two presidents have miscalculated Putin. Bush looked into his eyes and saw his soul, and Obama wanted to reset. I want a better relationship with Russia as much as you do, as much as Trump does. But the one thing I'm convinced of, you'll never have a better relationship forgiving this guy for all his misdeeds. A better relationship would mean that he no longer tries to destroy democracy around the world, interfere in our elections, kill his opponents, and steal his people blind. I have a different view of what we should do. My view is that we should hit Russia hard for what they've done to make sure they don't do it in the future. And China and Iran and everybody else is sizing us up. The evidence is in for Lindsey Graham. Putin is a bad actor. What we're doing is not working in terms of deterring him. And I intend to do more. And I'll make a prediction on your show. I predict that the sanctions we're going to that we've introduced will be voted on rel- relatively quick, and we'll get 80 votes in the United States Senate to punish Russia for what they did in our election. You think what Trump they're doing all over the world. I don't know. I hope he won't. Here's my advice to President-elect Trump. You beat me. I got it. I want to help you. You're the president. God knows you got a plate full of stuff. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with John McCain. But you've got willing partners in the Congress, Republicans and Democrats, to hit Russia hard, to give you leverage, to get a better relationship. Right. The one thing I'm convinced of about Putin is he's not going to stop this until he pays a price. And nobody's made him pay a price yet. That's for sure. Senator, thanks very much. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Happy New Year. (laughs) Thank you.